Good morning, grandkids. Uh, this is going to be kind of a short vlog. I just didn't want to leave you hanging too long uh, without some grandma time. Oh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Bear back there uh, let me know that he likes to sit out here and watch the goings on instead of laying in there on my bed. So that's why he's been out here lately. So I guess he'll stay out here. And Luna up there on his head, she flits from one place to another. Sometimes she's in the kitchen and sometimes she's worse somewhere else. And she flew over there and sat on his head because she likes to pester him and uh, he don't mind. So I don't know how long she'll stay there. Do you believe all that crap? I like to make up stories. <laughs> anyway, my toe is feeling much better. It looks ugly, but it's feeling better. And uh, I walked over to Walgreens today, this morning, and uh, it, it feels all right inside my shoe. My shoe doesn't let it bend too much. And uh, the, the problem is that I've been so careful with it and walked in such a way around the house to try not to bend it that it's <laughs> it's made a, a like a knot in my calf it's not really a knot it's just it feels like that my calf is hurting in that muscle because it's being used differently so I was going to make a vlog on my GoPro outside on the patio but it's just gotten too hot and humid. And it, and it has been looking all day like it's going to rain again, but maybe it won't. But I can't sit out there. It's just too hot. The main thing that I was doing this vlog for is to show you one of the things that I've been trying to work on during my time off from recording. I'll have to stand up to show you chair back out of the way. This is the middle part of a quilt top that I'm making. I've been making for a long time, but it's been sitting in a trunk forever. And when I say that I applique that big green stem and purple flowers and leaves are all cut out and uh, basted on there and I have to applique them on to the background and uh, I do what's called turn applique let me see if I can show you oh crap I don't know which way is which on this camera alright here we go you can see, crap. You can see the raw edges of everything. So when I turn applique, I turn the edge under and take tiny stitches to base, to sew it down. So I'm from here to here. That's as far as I've gotten done. <laughs> That's not very far. But that was in one sitting. And then I had to put it down because it was hurting my hands which is why I quit quilting <sighs> two or three years back because it hurts my hands too bad and uh, not just the joints but in the palm of my hand the way I hold the needle it just keeps that cramped up I guess and so it eventually got to where it's just sore every time I try to quilt because I hand quilt, I don't machine quilt. 
So this one, if I ever get it finished, I'm going to do what they call uh, tying a quilt, where every once in a while on some space in the quilt, you will take a stitch like with yarn or a colored embroidery thread and knot it a couple of times and then clip it off maybe a quarter of an inch or so. And it's just tied all over instead of quilted. That holds the quilt together. So that's what I'll do with it if I ever finish it. But at this rate, I would, it'll be another year or two before I just get that applique done. As slow as I'm going at it. But that's what I wanted to show you. I think it's pretty. And uh, so I wanted you to see it. And uh, that's what I'm bringing you up to date about my toe and the weather. It's crappy. <laughs> I guess it's good for plants, but it's not good for me. So that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm busy working on backgrounds and stuff for new series and, and, uh, studying different places and things and how-tos in my big Skyrim Bible. Hey, that's something I could show you. This book is so heavy, I have to leave it laying on my desk. And then I have to sit at my desk in order to use it. And that hurts my back after a while. Oh, God, this is heavy. But, oh, this is what I call my Skyrim Bible. And I guess I'm going to have to buy me another one because I'm wearing it out. Look. Everything is coming apart. I've got other pages in there coming apart because I'm always using it, flipping back and forth through it, and I've got papers <coughs> stuck in it here and there all through it, marking places. I love that book, but it's coming apart. But I use that a lot uh, in playing different stories. So that's all I want to talk about. One of these days I'll tell you how, I'm, how I make up stories. If I can tell you how I make up stories. But that's going to be all for today. i got to go find something else to do, I guess. And I'll talk to you later, Friday, in the bookshelf. Bye-bye, grandkids. <laughs>